Opinions, opinions, and beer. Two guys and another guy will never happen again. Trevor, did you see this? Trevor, did you see? I need to go outside before we start this. <laughs> okay, welcome to Opinions and Beer. I'm your host, Adam. Today we've got Trevor <laughs> and Rebecca. Are you guys are you guys uh, ready or should I should I put a pause on this? I'm ready. Okay, you ready? You ready? All right. Welcome everybody to the 12 Stouts of Christmas. Today is the first stout of the 12 Stouts of Christmas. I know Trevor is is extra excited for this. My favorite. He is he is bouncing bouncing with joy. If he, if he was a, a little child on Santa's lap, he'd be a very happy child. <laughs> That's how we want to put it. <laughs> Anyways, and the first, you know, what today we're gonna talk about the top. Uh, what am I saying? The 2021 hottest selling Christmas gifts. You, you ha- are you excited to talk about the hottest selling? I don't even know what I'm drinking. Oh, you want to know what you're drinking? Today's beer of the day is in the first out of Christmas. Oh God. Opinions gave to me. Was a chocolate cherry yet tea. <laughs> so that's right. We've got, uh, by Great Divide, a chocolate cherry yeti imperial stout. This is a stout <laughs> with cherries and cocoa nibs. This beer, uh, chocolate cherry yeti, is another descendant offering in our revered rev- <laughs> yeti series. I don't think I've ever been so mad at your mom. <laughs> We've tweaked. We've tweaked the hot bitterness for the special release and then added sweet and sour cherries and uh, uh, whatever chocolate. The roasty malt backbone of Yeti melds perfectly with the cherries and cacao. Cacao. Say it for me. Cocoa. Cacao. 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 Yeah. Cacao. Yeah. The, rest, the roasty malt backbone of Yeti. Blah, 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 cacao to make this one smooth. Sipper. A Yeti in a ch- cherry orchid can be a great thing. Uh, the alcohol percentage of this thing is what somewhere. What say? Orchard. A Yeti in a cherry orchard. As I is, said. You said orchid. <laughs> no, I didn't. I know what an orchid is. This is 9.5% in alcohol by volume. Have you been drinking already? I have not. I told you I can't even think of my words. I just got off of work, I say. Yeah, for, for those that don't know, uh, you know, we were going to do all video for the 12 Stouts of Christmas, but I just got off work. I'm not in my attire, and so this is going to be a very uh, – if, if, you're, if you're listening to this on the regular format, it doesn't matter. But if you're uh, trying to transition to watching us on YouTube, which probably not, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uh, uh, pictures and shit. So, good stuff. <laughs> pictures and we shit. We can cuss on here? You can do whatever you want to it's opinions and beer. As long as you share your opinions and beer, it's pretty good. Okay, let's crack this. Let's crack this great divide, bad boy. Now I bought uh, Lauren, my wife, taught me into <laughs> taught me into buying uh, this Yeti pack, and so it came with three Yetis, all stouts, and so all will be uh, just kind of kind of like how last year we did the um, like the four beers that were. Uh, uh, Eclipses, the four eclipses. Oh. Last year we did the eclipses. This year we've got three Yetis. We're gonna uh, sprinkle in throughout the uh, twelve pods of Christmas. And it came with this nice Yeti glass. And I believe in Yetis. Do you believe in Yetis? I mean, I have no reason to not. Right, I'll pour you guys your beer first. So I'll make sure mm-hmm. to give you a good bit. It's because I know you're dying to just gulp looks, this down. Looks like motor oil. <laughs> But it's but it's cherry motor oil. I feel like yay. this might taste like Dr Pepper. Oh yeah, because Dr Pepper is like a very cherry y drink. Yeah. I don't. I don't. It may agree. be almonds, cherry and almonds, right? What is Dr Pepper? I don't know. My it's favorite drink. Flavors. You know. What, you know what Coke is? Did you know Coca Cola is like orange, orange and. Are you giving away Coca Cola secrets? Yes, yeah, it's, like it's like I don't know. They they, they 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 melt it down to an acid, an acid. And people have to like wear uh, to clean it up. You got to wear like a, a suit, and if it touches you, if the acid touches you, it like burns through the suit. Shut up, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what I was told by this man. This man was trying to touch me in the meat department at Market Basket, and he was started talking to me about how there's this place where if you you have to clean it, and it's the, the un- coke acid will get you. <laughs> yeah, the coke acid, and it will melt through your it will melt through your uh, suit. You can only be in there for so long. Are we gonna drink this? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try this beer. I don't really get any, uh, do you get a good hint off this? Mm, it smells like nasty. It smells like alcohol. It does smell like alcohol. It's 9%. Let's go, let's try this. I got it. I don't really get cherry. Taylor like not a pepper. No? Um. What? What? I don't know. I feel like I can't taste it. Hold on. Are you COVID? No, I don't. <laughs> COVID jokes. <laughs> they're in. <laughs> they're in. They're in. <laughs> this, it has a hint, has a hint of cherry Dr. pepper, but um. I don't know what to say. It tastes like it tastes, it tastes bitter. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's an imperial. Is it supposed to taste bitter? Yeah, imperial stouts are technically uh, around eighty IBUs. They should be. Okay. I don't think it's that bitter. That's why my beer isn't. Uh, I think it's oddly smooth. It is oddly smooth and like. a it's it's weird because it's carbonated. Like I can tell it's carbonated. Oh but yeah, it's, it's a little it's a little over carbonated for its style, but uh, the the hop profile is on the nose. Uh, Imperial stouts, their their bitter units got to be around. They say they say that you need it around eighty I IBUs. I don't taste seventy any, IBUs. Unless the bitterness I'm tasting might be like dark chocolate. I don't know if that's a dark chocolate and cherries. Well, yeah, Kekoa. Cacao. Cacao is dark chocolate, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's just the... Yeah, that's like raw chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, it's raw, which is which is dark chocolate. Raw chocolate is it's dark cocaine. chocolate. cocaine. Cocaine. Sweet and sour cherries. Maybe maybe that uh, that bitterness is also the sour cherries. Sourness. I really thought the cherries were going to like, help this, yeah, but I can't I taste can't, it yeah, at all. Yeah, I can't all. taste any cherries. Oh, no, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of taste it. It, com- it comes off kind of medicine to be honest. Uh, whenever so I do, I'm not getting any of that. Whenever I do get, it, I said kind of, kind of comes off medicine. Maybe if I went into this liking this type of beer already. Oh yeah. I could get notes of something, but no. <laughs> it kind of just was. It just it tastes like black to you. Yeah. <laughs> it just it tastes, tastes like black. drinking the void. <laughs> Very imperial. You don't want to try it? Very no, imperial I indeed. You want some more? No. Oh. Okay. You're right. You want some? Oh, here. Give some of your six-year-old the beer. <laughs> no. Never want it again. Anyways, how, uh, you want to rate this beer at the end or right now? That's up to you, man. All right, let's it's go ahead. Show. I know. Let's go ahead and rate this beer. Uh, what are your thoughts? Give it a give it a Is rating. It's like a personal rating. Personal rating. It's not the worst. Not the worst. What do you do, what do, you do like a 1 to 10? Yeah, let's do 1 to 10. Some people do like, you know, three butterflies out of a coconut tree, but... <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> not three butterflies out of a coconut tree. <laughs> Rebecca, what do you rate this beer? I'm going to say... Uh, wait, what's... On a 1 to 10 scale? Yeah, 1 to 10 or whatever. Make something one up. 1 to 10. Right. From a 1 to 10 scale, I'm going to give it... A four. A four. It's it's not as good as the majority of the beers I've had. I think it's good. so, it's but it's not it's not like disgusting. It's just not as good. I th- I'd say it's below it. Below average. average. So you wouldn't pay and for five, this beer. Five would be like average. You wouldn't uh, you wouldn't go to the store head. and buy this beer if you've seen it. If I got this at like a bar, I would finish the glass. Oh, okay. But then I would not order it again. <laughs> I would not order it again. Like, so yeah, well, I'm, I'm, this is a one and done. A one and done type of beer. Yeah, I guess I'd give it a... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it again. So I guess a 4.5. Right under 5. I, I was going to say 5. Yeah, 5. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Hold what do y'all do uh, porters? Well, that was a fun little beer to try and drink. We're gonna, I'm still sipping on it as we go, and even though it, uh, we, we ranked it rather low, it's still a good little sip beer for this episode. And so now it's time to talk about the 2021 hottest Christmas gifts. Are you ready to figure out 
And here, what's yeah. the 2021 hottest Let's Christmas gift song? I was looking at Nerf guns yesterday. <laughs> I'm pretty interested in some. You, well, I, in fact, Nerf guns aren't the aren't in the hottest. I bet they're this not, year. but they're still fun for me. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the the low to, to low to number one. So the least to most. Understand? Okay. Yes, I understand. How <laughs> okay. Countdowns work. Okay. Uh, so here we go at the bottom of the list. Uh, you didn't name put on these glasses, huh? No, that I think I think we bought that for my dad. Adam has some too. <clears throat> okay. But they haven't eaten. So in the bottom of this list is the Collins Key Fake Food Mystery <laughs> Challenge. The what? The, the Collins Key Fake Food Mystery Challenge, Will. Fake okay. food. Okay. Yeah, if y'all want to look it up too. Yeah, while I'm gonna... I, while I <laughs> if y'all want to look at what I'm talking about. The bo- this is at the bottom of the of the hottest. Oh, it's a challenge wheel. Yeah, Collins Key Fake Food Mystery Challenge Wheel. Hey, it's only fifteen dollars. We could totally buy this. I mean, yeah, we could probably do this one day. Includes fifteen fake food challenge cards and three make your own cards for custom challenges. This looks wild. <laughs> Who is Collins is Key? Stuff? Like a, a I think they're YouTuber? YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, some sort of oh my lord what is that goop <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah I'm not really sure uh, what what is exactly is food real like is it, it whatever's says fake in there food. what's that mean like how is it a challenge spin the fake food mystery challenge wheel to discover your challenge race to create the prettiest messiest or grossest fake food okay so you're just trying to outplay your friends yeah like make some that would not be good for a podcast format no I guess not. Maybe a video podcast. So you're going to spin and wheel. Video And you cast. spin it and it's like gross things. And then you just have to make something gross. That'd be interesting. I don't... I mean, I guess I get the appeal. <laughs> but... I think it'd be better if the stuff was edible. I mean, it's very similar to how, you know, poop was a popular thing before. The first review is a one star. <laughs> oh my god. And the second review is a two star. <laughs> two star. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Next up, <laughs> impossible to play more than one time due to inability to separate product components following the first use. Returned, <laughs> children disappointed. Oh God! <laughs> so, uh, so, anyways, that's at the bottom of the list. Uh huh. Next up, we have really rad robots. Really rad robots made really by who rad makes this? Robots? Prank Bro makes it. Not really raspberry phone. Uh, squirts up to 10 feet. Oh my god. It punches people. It punches people and squirts people in the face. Wait, there, <laughs> there's a couple different ones I'm seeing. Oh, really? Really rad robot? Yeah, there's a, a, a no. me bro. Oh. Okay. And then there's like this electronic... Well, I think it's this one. By Prank Bros, that's the popular one. Okay. It punches stuff over and then it can squirt people in the face. Yeah. It's like a remote control. It's like a remote control. Remote control car. Remote Coca-Cola. <laughs> I know, right? It's a remote control car. But can, it, but it can like shit. shoot water at somebody. Yeah. yeah. That's a gift you give somebody, and it's immediately taken up by their parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I already broke. Like, I thought about getting you, or I, I thought about getting your children one of those big like um, rubber chickens that squeal for over a minute. Me? Yeah, I thought about getting oh Seth my one. god! But Becca was like, "No, can't do uh, that." <laughs> uh, so uh, that's an interesting little. Uh, oh, it gets worse. Oh my! Like, that's a, that's oh. a, that's an interesting little gag gift, I guess. Oh, <laughs> one of those. Uh, yeah, stop going back to that. Next up is Squeaky, the balloon dino. Now that sounds useless. <laughs> It's an interactive dinosaur pet toy with over 70 sounds and reactions. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. Squ- oh, is that how, yeah, how you say it? Squeaky. squeaky. $70. Yeah, $70 for the balloon dino. It uh, stomps, roars, and dances. Oh my god, $70? Yes, yeah, $70. 
for Squeaky the Dino. What? Okay, so y'all can't see this picture, but this kid is like holding his <laughs> hands up to, oh! his, to its ass. Like, is it pooping? Don't. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's one Maybe of the noises. Maybe it's twerking. Oh, but look. He's hugging the dino. He's, it's his friend. He's like, I'm sorry. I hated your butthole. <laughs> oh my god. Look. I pet my noise. I, I nuzzle and stomp. Play chicken with me. I try to bite your finger. Squeeze my speaker toy. I play. <laughs> I play tug of I play and walk. Tickle me. I laugh and go wild. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, roar at me. I roar back at you. Anyways, is our insert. I don't know what this is. It's not really a remote control. You just like. I like that it says number of players, one plus. Like, I needed to know that information. <laughs> Only one person can play this at a time. Yep. <laughs> this is a this is a solo. Pull his toy. tail and he'll fart or pop. Oh, see, so it does fart. Oh my gosh! They gotta include the poop. I like that they had to put a picture of that kitty. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't they, fart yeah. on. But me. they have to. I feel like they have to include the poop nowadays. That's like what every, every kid's into poop. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyways, next up, any comments, Rebecca, on the squeaky the dino? Um. Would you I'm, buy a seventy dollar squeaky the dino toy? I don't. I personally would not. <laughs> no, I would not. Would you see the appeal of it? I, no. No. <laughs> I, I mean, I see how like it having a bunch of different phrases might appeal to. That's some seventy dollars. It is. I spent like... fifteen on a Nerf tomahawk with suction cups <laughs> and got my money's worth just throwing it at a wall. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what kid didn't want to just throw a tomahawk at a wall. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, next up is the Treasure X Monster Gold Mega Monster Lab. That's actually what I was debating on getting Seth for Christmas oh, really? this year. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the hottest selling stuff right now. I wasn't thinking about the Mega Monster Lab. They have a bunch of different ones. Yeah, yeah. And but... I showed your wife some of them. And uh, the one that she found the grossest, where you have to like open up a bug and like cut its guts out. Yeah. She was like, "That's gross." I was like, "That's the one I'm gonna get him then." <laughs> That's funny. But the Treasure X stuff all looks really cool. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to find it. But... Like, there's these like little collectibles you can get in all of them. Like, oh yeah. There's like a coffin one with like a little werewolf in it. Uh, I've seen one that's a volcano, a little dinosaur comes out of it. Uh, there was one that's like a ship in a bottle with a kraken, but I was like, I want that for my shelf, not your child. <laughs> yeah, I think this one's the the mega monster it's lab. It's the lab where you, yeah, you put together like a Frankenstein. Yeah, you put together a Frankenstein. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. thinking, that'd look cool in my bookshelf. That looks that does look pretty cool, uh, though. I was going to get your kids some cheaper version. <laughs> I like you inject them with something? Yeah. It's cheaper like, version, this is $26. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so like the $5 it one. It was like 40 on Amazon the other what, day. What, this? Yeah. Oh, really? Interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of, uh, so yeah, so that, that's a, that's one of the hottest, that, that was, that interested you. Yeah. Cool so, we're, I mean, we're getting, we're slowly TikTok's getting to, getting to me. We're slowly yeah. getting to the, uh, the, the things that interest people. Uh, well, Treasure Better than a dumb plastic Balloon, <laughs> yeah, the fake balloon dinosaur. Seventy dollars. Uh, <laughs> next up is Kindy Kids Electronic. What What does that mean? There's not enough words to come with it. Kindy Kids Elec Electronic. What? So it's called. It's called a Kindy Kids Electronic. Is it a baby doll? Yeah, this thing. That's it. It's a baby doll, and it's uh it. I, I guess it does a lot of stuff. I think it poops. <laughs> Is this like those LOL dolls? Let's see. Uh, feed me, blow me. Oh my god! What? <laughs> feed me with my bottle. I blow scented bubbles. Blow me for fun. I blow. I blow scented bubbles. I giggle and sing. <laughs> Bl it blow I pulled a nasty one out of the package. It, it blows hundreds of bubbles. Hey there, babe. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, the name's Beretta. So there's all there's always like a baby doll though that's like popular. I guess like a cabbage yeah. patch thing. Yeah, there's always gonna be a baby doll that's popular. Uh, do, do you remember any baby dolls that were pop? Bratz maybe. Yeah. Bratz were big when we were kids. Yeah, Bratz mm -hmm. and uh, wrestling figures for us. 
those were rats aren't baby dolls, are they? No, they're, no, they're, they're teenage like, slut dolls. They're like fake. <laughs> they're like gothic Barbies. They're not gothic. <laughs> they're, they're emo not bar- gothic. emo Barbies. They're not emo. No, rats. These are like the Kardashians of children. Yeah, they can't. They're, they're little they're, shit. They have the colors of emo. <laughs> no, they don't. Vampirina is an emo. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm making something up. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if there's any dolls that we had that were popular. I'm sure there was. Yeah, G.I. Joe, didn't you? <laughs> no, I mean like a baby doll. G.I. Joe's a baby. Um, Like the American Girl dolls. Those were pretty. Oh, up there. oh yeah, didn't you have one? Yeah, I had two. I what happened to him? You a Native them? American one and then like a colonial Yeah, those were probably like. One. She probably opened the box. A colonial one. Yeah. It was a, a but white probably, one with like I, if she, she had braids. If and she would have like never opened dress. the boxes, I'm sure they were like expensive now. Oh, I'm sure those things. Yeah. Are, those things probably cost a lot don't of money. They have stores just, are they just dedicated gone? to you threw them away. Them? I don't. I don't know what happened to them. I'm sure they're somewhere. You don't want to clean out a room. Out. No, but I didn't see that shit. It was all. I'm sure mom stuff from probably the, threw it away secretly at some point. I don't know, but that it is kind of crazy. I think it's wild that at some point my mom threw away all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and now I wish I had them. Oh, really? I don't even like Yu-Gi-Oh, but I was like, that's some money in them. Uh, yeah. Next up is Little Live F- Flamingos. <laughs> Little <laughs> Live Pets Flamingo. Specifically the Flamingo, because there's a bunch. This thing. Little Live Pets Flamingo. Okay. It also does similar things to the other things. I know. That's, I guess we're seeing a trend. No, but this one poops. This one does poop. It comes with a toilet. Okay. It literally comes with a freaking toilet. When you know, I was thinking about this the other day. Oh, about, little live pets gotta go flamingo. Oh, it's a pooping flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a pooping, a pooping flamingo. That's all it does. And it comes with a toilet, and you gotta clean out the droppings. Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Look! That's look, it's like a fucking, it's like sand or something. It's droppings, it poops in the toilet. I want that on my shelf, too. <laughs> oh my god! Just chilling. What the hell? That's weird. What were you awful. saying? I was just thinking about, like, toys that were marketed towards me as a child were weird as shit. Like, there's this ooze that you could buy, but then they made, like, a smelly version for boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, ooh, garbage dump is what the boys want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but the, um, little live pets gotta go flamingo. Fun little thing, uh, fun little, uh, pooping toy for the, uh, fun little pooping toy for everybody at home. Uh, next up we've got, uh, Heroes of Goo. Heroes of Goo. Does it smell bad? Is it marketed towards boys? Heroes of Goo. I wonder if it's based off some this Of show. Goo Jitsu? There we go. I think so. Yeah, Heroes of Goo Jitsu. Oh, that's like a Miles Morales one. Yeah, look, they have like street sharks or something. Street sharks! <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, I guess they have like a whole bunch of these uh, yeah. characters. Yeah. What, what the hell are they? Like, this $30 for two of them is a lot. Look, some of these. Yeah, like Blazagon versus look, Rock Jump. Different ones cost. Like, this one's 20 bucks. Yeah, Mer- Blazagon Look, versus Rock Merculock. Merculock's twenty bucks, but they have like a ten dollar one. Oh, they look they look like um like stress balls. Oh. Okay, Are they so they're like with Orbeez? Well it probably kinda looks like. I would get some of those. Keep them on my desk at work. <laughs> oh my goodness, everything's going on your desk, isn't it? Nah, I'm a bookshelf. Oh bookshelf. Time. Bookshelf. I want things on my bookshelf. They got Ben Ten set? Oh, they do? Oh, I don't know. I just look at Ben 10 toys now. <laughs> okay, I'm like, yeah. Uh, I fucking love Ben 10. <laughs> Heroes of... That's kind of like uh, like the modern day stretch dolls or something. Vilgax. The modern day... Uh, what are those? Uh, stretch Armstrong? Yeah, stre- stre- Stretch Armstrong. Oh, I also yeah. had a, a had two of them. I had a Frankenstein and a mummy. And it was like really stretchy except for the legs. So it was kind of like huddle, like walk. And then, like, the eyeball on the mummy and the brain of the Frankenstein, you could squeeze its face and eyeballs would pop out. That's pretty cool. brain would pop out. Those were 
Disgusting. <laughs> Those were disgusting. Boys did not get cool things as children. That's cool. We got Are the disgusting things. We got disgusting things. We got Power Ranger toys. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, here we are. We've made it to... That was number four, so we've actually made it to... Now we're in the top three best-selling... Oh, okay. The top three 2021 gifts. Okay. Of, uh, t- t- uh, Let's yeah. hear it. Number three, Aikido. Aikido. That sounds like a dog. I'm uh, pretty sure it's a martial art. Aikido Battle Arena. We're just gonna let kids fight now. It's kind of like a, it's. Uh, it's like it's oh, they a have figure swarm too. Yeah, and you can buy new figures, and uh, you collect different figures, and there's like this arena. It's almost like a like Rock and Sock'em. Sock'em robot? It's like a it's like an advanced Rock and Sock'em where you can yeah you can switch. I your, found the Frankenstein I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what is that called? Uh. Toy Quest Stretch Screamer. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, Keto. It looks like a crazy Rock'em Sock'em, and you can yeah. switch your characters out. But you play I guess there's like more... an arcade game? Yeah, look, there's like, there's more, there's more controls than just pressing a button. Yeah. That's all you need sometimes, man. But that's kind of cool. You know, there's always, there's always like a, uh, a, a, a weird... Not weird. But there's always a something interesting about collectibles, like be, having like having to be able to collect your own figure, you know, like Pokemon or yeah. or even yeah. even the, the whole reason why Pogs were so popular uh, when I was a kid. Were Pogs? Oh. Did you remember Pogs? Yeah, no, remember. we're not old enough for Pogs. Okay, Pogs. I know what they are. Yeah, yeah that's about. Yeah, it. I mean, at some point, Pogs were popular. <laughs> you know what I freaking mean? So there's something about collecting things. So this is the mummy, and it had. L- Hard plastic feet because when you would pull the arms and stretch them, it would scream. Oh my, oh god. my god, that's these terrifying. Things, these things are awful. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> would you would you ever buy a keto for yourself? No, it doesn't look like that much fun. It doesn't look fun to you? Not really. Is Rock'em Sock'em fun? No, I guess not. <laughs> but it's so it's. I feel like. Do you feel like uh, Rock'em Sock'em is ho- overhyped? It's before my time, man. At the time, it could have been, like, the top shit. <laughs> I remember my, my buddy had a version that wasn't Rock'em Sock'em, but it was, like, Jurassic Park 3 theme. Oh, my God. <laughs> like it was a licensed toy where you played the two big dinosaurs <laughs> fucking duped it out with them. <laughs> and, I mean, I, that sucked. <laughs> oh, my God. It worked for, like, five seconds. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I don't like toys that break immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, five minutes each side, oh. or something. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, Adam. Is it ten minutes each side or five minutes? Each I side? don't know. Put some holes on it. Oh my god! You know how to heal a mark. I think it's five minutes. Okay. Isn't there a potato button? Potato button. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I think Akita looks pretty cool. <laughs> Battle Arena looks like an updated. It has more than just one button, and it and you can uh, change out your characters and have. And you can uh, have a personalized. Are your kids into violence or are they into animals taking shits? That's what you need to know. This. I know, uh, right? <laughs> Next up, number two, Bluey. Bluey. Surprising enough. What the fuck is Bluey? So, Bluey. Is that what you told me to get your children? No, that's Blue's Clues. So, Bluey is a uh, essentially a Blue's Clues ripoff, but not really. So there's this new dog. Okay. I see them. It's a dog they have a character. Home playset. So Bluey, it's Bluey items is what it, is what it is. Bluey in general. Bluey in general, merch. Bluey merch is right now in. It's a Disney Now thing. Yes, I tried watching some episodes and they're pretty. Uh, oh, 107 episodes. I I, I, I tried. I said I tried watching some, and uh, it was mostly good, but they're kind of like dark. Like they keep trying to kill their father, and they're like, "Ha ha, we almost killed our father!" It's like, "Oh my god, Bluey's a girl." <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bluey's a girl. The dad, the the dad looks like the daughter, and then the mom looks like the son, who's like a little. Two daughters, maybe. I don't know. Someone. I don't need the whole backstory. Bluey. Anyways, <laughs> it doesn't sound like something I'm gonna go home and watch after this. You're not gonna go home and watch Bluey. Look, I haven't watched Hawkeye yet. I need to watch that. Oh my goodness! Uh, and now number one. What do you guys think the number one hottest selling toy right now is? Hey, Fucking Nerf toys, yeah. always. VR. Hey. I said toy. It's, that's not a toy? No. Okay. The number one hottest selling toy right now is Magic Mixies. I thought you were going to say Magic the Gathering. Oh. No. 
It's like, hell yeah! <laughs> Have you heard of Magic Mixies? No. I'm about to. Yeah. Magical Misting Magic Goldrin. Missing. There's some are, yeah, some are selling for 98 bucks on eBay. Jesus Christ! Uh, basically, you grow... You grow your pet in a cauldron. They're, it's it's kind of like Furbies, but you grow them. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat. <laughs> you, it's like a Furby, but you grow it in the cauldron. How do you even do that? How's that even work? It comes with like a bunch of stuff to put in the cauldron. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, and it grows in there. So that's like the number one uh, toy right now, the hottest toy. That's weird. We're going to get us a magic mixie. <laughs> We're going to get us a Oh, yeah, they sold out. I don't have to do it on Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> I bide my time till the new one comes I'll out. Bide my time. Magic Mixies two. Yeah. yeah. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna wait for the for the next one. Yeah. Anyways, so I don't, so that was the uh, list, the hottest selling item of 2021 Christmas items. What are your thoughts about that list? I feel like you're going not even nothing right now. What are your thoughts about that list? I mean, the bottom five sucked. Yeah, they did. <laughs> like, really bad. But the tops weren't bad. Yeah. You got me interested in a couple of them. Becca, your thoughts? Um, I liked the Flamingo because it was funny. And then the Magic Mixies uh, is interesting. Indeed it is. I like, I don't know, I think it's cool when they have toys that have multiple steps to, like, using them. Instead of just being like a one trick pony. That's why I like the Treasure X stuff because you have to like find the toy in the stuff. Oh. That's part of the fun is like digging hey, for it. Hey, that was on the list. I know. <laughs> that was on the list. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but like a dinosaur that's just going to sit there till I pull its tail for it to fart, that's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> for like, maybe there's like a certain age bracket for that one. Mm-hmm. I don't know, because there was also those, like, back in the day, they had those little robotic dogs. And I feel like every kid my age had one, and I thought it was fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, those little square ears and square ears. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I, I, yeah, I do. Did y'all have some? No, we never got one. I don't know. We, we never, we never. They also, they also had a dinosaur. That was Our a parents didn't believe in Christmas. That's... We still got gifts. And we got gifts from grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to say, from Jesus. Yeah, from Jesus too. <laughs> my sisters. <laughs> I say my sister's parents because they didn't raise me. Oh my god. Um, they only got her three gifts every Christmas because that's as many as Jesus got. <laughs> <laughs> three gifts. That's how much Jesus. Oh Jesus. No, no presents on the tree. Because yeah. that's uh, Satan. You're getting mur. <laughs> You're getting mur. Mur. Rebecca, what's up? What's up? Like a crazy Christmas gift you got? Like a crazy one? Like what's like your most fond Christmas gift memory? Yeah, what is it? It was a bright light. The bright light? Yeah, that was the best thing. I mean, hey, that was like the number one gift. That I bought this bitch year. a switch. It was like, <laughs> no. I'm, well, we're, talking about, we're talking about childhood. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I like the switch. Yeah, bright light. Light bright. Light bright. Yeah. Well, Did we, I had one of those Yeah, that bright. was like the favorite thing that I've had. Like. Switch way cooler. Mm-hmm. Whatever. <laughs> I switched to a galaxy watch. Switch was around. <laughs> I meant I meant before all that. Uh huh. Switch yeah. was around then. We had Game Boy Advance. I got a Game Boy SP one time for Christmas. Oh my red. <laughs> I got. Uh, did, did we both get moon shoes? We got moon shoes. I got in I trouble that, that, that Christmas morning actually. What moon shoes? No, when I got my Game Boy, I oh. got in trouble. I thought you were telling me they you were got- like. Like, they had it out there with, like, a ribbon on it. And they were like, wonder who that could be for. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm the only child who knows what a Game Boy is yeah. in this household. Wonder who it could be for. <laughs> uh, do you remember all the crazy weird gifts that our, um, that mom's sister got us? No. Oh, no. Okay. I don't. Maybe only I, I got weird gifts. Tabitha gives us gifts almost every year. Oh, does she? And they're not the best, but they're always stuff I like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, she got us, like, decanters once. Oh, my goodness. Last year, she she got us, like, a bunch of puzzles. Yeah. I haven't opened any yeah. of the puzzles, but we still yeah. have well, I like that we have puzzles. She our got aunt, a jar, a candy yeah. jar, and a bunch of candy. Uh, our yeah. aunt bought us a three-foot-tall uh, T-Rex puzzle. Three foot oh, wait, tall. I remember that one. Yes. I remember that. Because it's a 3D puzzle. Okay. So you, have well, to... you didn't say 3D. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You know, had to, they were like shaped like bones, like a real T Rex. You had to figure that's out how to yeah, put them together. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They, bu they bought us a, uh, it was like a shared gift, but they bought us a um, telescope one year. I know, he's, he's just screaming in the... We still had to Sorry, drink. listeners. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, that was a fun episode. We talked about the 2021 guests. We were drinking a chocolate cherry Yeti stout. We gave it a, a, a timid rating of 5 to 4. 5, 4.8. I mean, I'm willing to go lower to meet y'all. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my heart's not set on it. <laughs> I don't think... I didn't think it was terrible. I forgot to take a picture, though. Let me get this round picture. Of it drank. A random picture of it drinking. Yeah, there you go. Pour it in there. Made it. This this can sucks. Made it. Why did I why I make it a thingy? Anyways. Made it. Fun little episode talking and stuff. I hope everyone enjoyed listening. Talking and stuff. Hope everyone enjoyed listening to what they top Christmas gifts. This is the first episode. Of the 12 pods of Christmas, so you have enough time to go out there and buy these Christmas gifts. 12 what of Christmas? Huh? The 12 stouts of Christmas. I think he said pods. The 12 pod stouts of Christmas. Yeah, but he said stout. Keep it consistent. It's, the same. it's both the same. Pod stouts, bye. <laughs> it's the 12, the 12 stouts of pods. Shut up. <laughs> My pod stouts. Are you happy? With what? Life? Yeah. Are you happy with uh, this beer? No. <laughs> well, that's... I would be happy if you got me like a Corona. Well, that's just your opinion. <laughs> and that's fine. Because all we have here are opinions Fuck you. and beer. We are a million, 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 million.